Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In today's video I'll teach you how I did this awesome timeline using PowerPoint. We're gonna be using the morph transition so if you don't have it you just have to go to powerpoint.new on your browser to use it legally for free. And I'll start by changing the background color so I'm just gonna right click for my background and change the color to black. And then I'm going to insert a text box and I'm just going to start um, adding my dates for this timeline. For this one, I'm going to use the font Poppins Extra Bold. It's a free font that you can get from Google Fonts if you don't have it. And this timeline that I'm doing will be about the history of Nintendo. But obviously you can apply this concept to whatever presentation you're doing. It could be a history presentation that maybe requires a timeline and it will work just as good. So I'll add four dates in the same text box. And once I have them, I'm going to go to shape format, click on align and align to middle. So everything is perfectly centered. Then I'm going to right click and go to format shape so you can get this panel here. Go to text options and here we're going to add an outline. So just select solid line and I'm going to change the color to white. I'm also going to increase the width uh, to one point and then I'm going to select these three dates here and then I'll go to text fill and select black and that's how we get the outline effect for the numbers. So now I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to insert a rounded rectangle here. I'm also going to move the date just a little bit to the left and then I'm going to select the shape, go to align and align to middle so it's centered on the slide. Now with the shape selected and holding control on your keyboard, you need to drag it up and drag it down to duplicate two times. And then I'm going to zoom out so I can see better. And then I'm going to select those three shapes and holding control as well. I'm going to duplicate them down. So now we have six exact same shapes. Again, I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so I can select all of them and then I can zoom in again so I can continue working on each particular shape. And then I'm going to go to the format shape panel here. If you don't have it, right click and format shape and go to the effect options here and just soft the edges of all the shapes that you did. So we get like this kind of like blurry effect. If you want to increase the size, you just have to hold Ctrl and Shift on your keyboard as you're making them larger, which is exactly what I'm doing here. And now I'm going to select the very first one and I'm going to change the color to white. And then I'll scroll down all the way to the bottom one and I will change that one to white as well because each of these shapes will be um, for a different year. So this one right here will be for 1985 and here I'm going to select a gradient fill from the format shape panel and here I had already predefined some colors that I'm going to use. So for this one, I'm going to use like a gradient of purple and blue. And I'm going to apply different gradients for each of these shapes. You can pick whatever colors that you like or you can take the ones that I'm using as a reference. It will obviously depend on your content so because this one is fun and bright we need like very bold colors but if it's a historical timeline then you might want like grays or neutral colors. So then I'm gonna insert a text box and this will be essentially the title of each of the shapes so in this case it will be a different product each time. And for my titles, I'm going to be using Poppins Bold. 
and here I'll just write the first product which was Nintendo Entertainment System or commonly known as NES and I'll also add a short description um, you know Lauren Ipsum doesn't really mean anything uh, <laughs> I always get asked that question it doesn't mean anything it's just a placeholder text and I'm going to repeat the exact same process with all of my shapes um, so for this one I'm just duplicating the texts holding control on my keyboard and dragging down and I'm just replacing the titles of my products and I'll end this one with Nintendo 64 which was launched in 1996 then I'm gonna select my first date and I'm gonna change the fill color to match uh, my shape and I need to go to text options and change the color of the outline as well to match the color that I used for the fill. Now I'm gonna go to my browser and I'm gonna look for Nintendo NES PNG and basically when you click it um, if you see it has like a white background but suddenly it transforms into this checkerboard uh, thing and that means that that image has a transparent background so you can just copy that one and paste it into PowerPoint and I'm just gonna make it smaller and put it on the side right here and I also want to add a shadow so from the format picture panel uh, the shadow options are here and you can select an outer shadow and just increase the distance a little bit and now our image pops a little bit more from the background and I'll repeat the exact same process with the rest of my images so remember if it has white background and it suddenly transforms into a checkered background that means that it's a transparent PNG so you can just copy and paste it into PowerPoint and if you want to copy the shadow effect you just have to select the previous image then click on the format painter tool right here and then just apply it to your new image and your new image will have the exact same shadow so once you're done adding all of your images you're gonna zoom out until you can see absolutely every single element that you have here and then you're gonna select all of these shapes right here you're gonna right click click on group and then on group again now duplicate the slide with Control D and on this slide we're going to go to transitions and click on morph and then click back on home and you're going to right click on the slide and add a horizontal guide from this panel so now we're going to move the group up making sure that the new product kind of aligns to the middle of the slide and then I'm going to select my first date, click on the format painter and apply it to the new date and then select the one with the outline, click on the format painter again but apply it to the previous date and we'll need to just change the colors again, change the color of the fill and change the color of the outline to match the new shape and we're going to repeat the process so we're going to duplicate the slide move the group up and format the dates from the left so now the highlighted one is the one that actually corresponds to that product or to that image and then just changing the color of the field and changing the outline as well and while I'm doing that I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials every week and also to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok because I'm uploading a bunch of tutorials there as well. Let me know in the comments if you are enjoying my tutorials and what would you like to see next. And now the last thing to do is to insert a rectangle. So we're gonna insert a rectangle here and then from the format shape panel I'm going to select no line and I'm going to select a gradient fill and I'm going to select a linear gradient like this one 
And now I'm going to change the color of this one to black and increase the transparency to 100. And I'm going to change the color of this one to black as well, but leave the transparency at zero. And now I'm going to duplicate it holding control on my keyboard and I'm going to rotate it. So we have something like this. And now select both of them, copy them with control C and paste them into every single slide that you did. And that's it guys, that's how I did this awesome timeline using PowerPoint. Let me know in the comments what do you think and how you'll be using it in your own project. And also remember that I have all of my free slides available on lurutiapipt.com. As always, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.